Before this video starts, I have to tell you a few things. This video goes over all types of movements, so please look at the timestamps if you're looking for something specific. Shout out to Polaritune for giving me the list of all these movement types. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, and I hope you learned something. Bye! There are two ways of doing this. The first one is simple. You just jump, dive, and jump again. The second way is a little harder, but still pretty easy to do. In this way, you are supposed to dive and then move your joystick backwards. There are some downsides to this, however. When doing this, you cannot dive or belly stomp again until you've hit the ground. But, it does stop all of your movement, which the other one does not. This one's basically the same as aborting a dive. Just do a double dive and add an extra A, or move the joystick backwards, your pick. Because no matter what way you pick, you cannot dive or belly stomp again. This one is pretty simple, all you have to do is stop holding B while doing a belly stomp. Keep in mind that if you are falling you can only do one jump instead of two. Diving on walls is pretty weird, so just remember that if you're facing a wall too much, the game will decide not to let you dive. This one is another weird one. You can open a cage by punching or diving into it, but the weird part is that sometimes you bonk into the cage instead of actually getting the bear. I don't really know why this happens, but it seems to happen way less when you get lower to the cage. When walking or trying to jump in Purple Honey, you will be slowed down quite considerably, but you can simply double jump, dive, or long jump to stop being slowed down. When walking on ice, it makes you very slippery, and long jumps are basically useless. Now this might make the ice seem like something you should stay away from always, but if you do multiple jumps in a row, not double jumps mind you, only single jumps, you will gain momentum that makes you travel on ice way better.
You can slide by just diving and not jumping up. This doesn't have a lot of uses, but if you're going downhill, this makes it way faster. When performing a belly stomp, you can either do one with a lot of fight or a little bit of fight. To get a big belly stomp, you have to release the button exactly 150 milliseconds after you hit the ground. But there is a bit of tolerance if you release it before. You can pick up a cube, an ice cube, or a bottle cap by pressing B or diving into it. For example, let's use the bottle cap for this one. If you want to make the bottle cap go up, then you jump, but it won't gain that much height. But while falling, is a whole different story. If you're falling, there are two ways to make your bottle cap go up. The first way is to wait till the bottle cap is all the way at the bottom without falling off, obviously, um, and then jump. But this is a little difficult since it has to be timed a little bit well so it doesn't fall all the way off. The second way is to jump about halfway when the bottle cap is descending. About here. The sides and down are pretty self-explanatory. Just go left or right to go left or right and don't jump to keep the cap down. Using a quad isn't that difficult. You get in by pressing B or diving. Now there isn't a joystick on this one so you have to use these buttons in the corner. Or, if you're on controller, you can just use the right and left trigger buttons. It just so happens that the level the quad is actually in is a pretty bad level for it, because if you go fast, you can easily flip over and get pushed out the car because of these little hills on the, on the level. Press the back buttons in midair to stop your speed, but don't hold them for too long because then you'll flip backwards. I recommend testing this out for yourself to get a feel on it. Alright, on to the airplane. If you ever used a wing cap from Mario 64, this is very similar. To go up, build up speed by going down and then swoop up and repeat. Simple as that. Jumping out of a quad really only has one factor, speed. Depending on your speed, you will either go flying or you'll just land right next to the quad. Again, pretty simple compared to the other ones. However, the airplane gives no speed at all no matter how fast you're going. When swimming, it takes about 2 seconds to jump again, but if you're not swimming, even if you're still in the water, you can jump immediately, so this is way faster when in water. But this one gets basically the same thing from water to land. You can still do the same big and small belly stomps, and they give you the same height. I mean, it sort of little floats a little bit, but it's the same height, so yeah. And that's most, if not all, movement types in SBA. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did enjoy, please subscribe and like. It really helps the video out. I have two other SBA Explained videos if you want to check them out. They're in, on the screen right now. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. See ya.